Hello everyone and welcome to today's video and welcome to Spent. This is going to be a very interesting let's play in the sense of this isn't necessarily a game as much as it is a test. A test to see if you could hold out for 30 days down to your last $1,000 while making some tough financial decisions that a lot of Americans have to make on a daily basis. I figured this would be a fun one for me to do simply because as someone who has had three jobs at once and for me a day off was simply having to be only one place that day, one job. It would be a very fun thing to see if I could hold up for 30 days. I have done it before in real life, and let's see if I can take the spent challenge and hold up for 30 days. So Urban Ministries of Durham serves over 6,000 people every year, but you never need help. Right? Prove it. Let's do it. Over 14 million Americans are unemployed. Now imagine you're one of them. Your savings are gone. You've lost your house, and you're down your last $1,000. Can you make it through the month? I think we can. Let's go ahead and find a job. So you're running out of money fast, it's time to get a job, any job. Here's what's available, choose one. So it looks like we have a second shift warehouse. So looking for dependable, punctual, and hardworking warehouse associates, must be able to lift 20 pounds, have reliable transportation, 9 bucks an hour, noon and 7. You know, that I kind of gravitate towards that one because I did dock labor, and the steady hours do kind of help. Let's see what else we have. Restaurant. Join our team. Experience server needed at casual restaurant with a fast-paced and fun atmosphere. Apply in person Tuesday through Friday, 2 to 5 p.m. 2.13 an hour plus tips. Hours vary. You know, the potential to earn more money on tips is nice, but with the fluctuating hours, you might be too damn tired to even do anything or have any kind of positive impact which might lead to terrible tips and then you're relying on 213 an hour so i think we'll keep looking uh what's the other one office temp know your way around an office we're hiring for temporary workers all over the area administrative experience and attention to detail a must nine dollars an hour hours vary uh again these fluctuating hours you know what i think we'll go ahead and go with the warehouse labor because it's steady hours it's nine bucks an hour you might be more prone to injury for the lifting, but you get used to it, so we'll go with warehouse. Stay healthy, all that lifting and repetitive packing can be brutal on your body. So $14.40 a month before taxes, after taxes $12.24, weekly pay $306. Alright, let's continue. The Affordable Care Act requires you get health insurance. The good news, your child is covered by the state, the bad, you aren't. Which plan do you want? So we have gold, silver, bronze, and opt out. So opt out is going to be a terrible idea because that's going to be twelve month, twelve dollar a month drain. Uh, let's see. And you know we're doing warehouse work, so we want to make sure we have the best coverage possible. It's an investment in ourselves, so let's go with the gold plan. So result, congrats, you've got great coverage and a low copay, but you just reduced your weekly paycheck by over twenty five percent. Fantastic. Let's be even more broke. So find a place to live. Let's see. So we can either get closer to work and have cheaper travel costs, or we can live further away and have higher travel costs. I think I will kind of put us almost right... I think we'll just do straight 800 a month. Oops. 800 a month. There we go. So we'll go ahead and hit pay. Result. You chose to live farther away from your job, so your rent is lower, but your gas costs are higher. In fact, for every dollar a working family saves on housing, they spend an additional 77 cents on transportation. Oh, 200 bucks. Your new apartment is too small for your stuff, what do you want to do? Rent a storage unit for $45 a month, have a yard sale, or ask a friend to store it? Well, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to go through my Facebook or Twitter, but for realistic purposes, I would have a yard sale, simply because when you're really that broke, and having been that broke, you really hang on to what you need, not necessarily what you want. So I think we'll go ahead and have a yard sale and see what happens. You sold a bunch of stuff, but only made 150 bucks. Every dollar helps. Your car's registration is due. It'll cost $250 to get it road legal. What do you want to do? Pay the money or take your chances? Oh man. 
you know, it's horrible, but I've done this. I've took my chances and I've let my tabs ride for like two months. Oh, let's let's take our chances because we're gonna be flat broke if we don't. You'll save your money in the short term, but you'll have to pay a hundred dollar late fee for waiting. And if you get pulled over, you're looking at fifteen hundred dollars to get your car back. Oh no. Let's see, car registration 350, make this go away. You're walking into work when someone approaches you in the parking lot. They want to organize a union and push for better pay. What do you want to do? Talk to them or keep walking? Oh man. So, working retail. By the way, if you haven't checked out my retail horror story series, check it out. But working retail, they absolutely despise unions because they always want the power to be in their favor. They don't want unions to dictate what they do. They don't want unions to dictate employee pay. They want to just make sure that they have all the power over everything. So even talking about unions, I've never worked at a Walmart, but I know people who have, and I know that talking about unions there is basically a death sentence. I know in other retail environments, it's kind of a death sentence. And I really need this job. And oh, this is terrible. It really makes you reflect on how you have to not necessarily whore out your morality, but you really have to make some terrible decisions. Like, I know I deserve better rights, I know I deserve better pay, but you need the job, so really they got you by the short hairs, so we'll keep walking. Like you, many low income workers would rather keep quiet than push for better working conditions because they don't want to risk their jobs. See? Uh, your landlord found out that you have a pet, and now you have to pay a $350 pet fee. What do you want to do? Well, I wouldn't have a pet if I was that strapped for cash for myself. So... Oh, no. You know, I at one point I owned three cats, and I lost them due to a relationship ending, and it was one of the most heartbreaking things. I cried. I cried my eyes out. I don't care. If that hurts my manlyhood, I really don't give a shit, but... Oh no. And again, I don't want to do this for the sake of I have to play this like I'm entirely on my own. Oh my god. I, I'd have to take him to the shelter. Oh. Your child's sneakers are falling apart and it's time to buy new ones. Name brands are important, but they don't come cheap. What do you want to do? Well, uh It's one of those situations where you almost want to you almost want to give them the name brand stuff, but it's also like, I've, I have I was a Kmart kid. I grew up on Kmart clothes, Target clothes, Sears clothes, and I never really cared about brand names growing up, so I guess my parents were lucky in that regard. My sister loved brand name shit. But it's a lesson, it's a lesson that your kid will learn one day is that what people think of you in school won't matter, what you think of yourself and how you project yourself in the world matters more. So let's go to the thrift store and get you some new shoes, son slash daughter. Your stress level is through the roof these days. A friend who hears you venting offers you a cigarette to take the edge off. What do you want to do? Say no. Say no to drugs, kids. Don't smoke. Don't do any of that shit. And that's just a money drain, so no. And as someone who has dealt with addiction myself and having quit caffeine, you just, you don't, the best prevention for addiction is to not even start. So we're just going to go ahead and say no. Uh, let's see, one of the main reasons people start smoking as adults is stress. There is a misconception that smoking relieves stress, so some people pick up the habit during difficult periods of life transitions. Yeah, a lot of smokers in retail. Payday! Thank God! Your college degree isn't helping you right now, but you still have to pay your loans. You just got a bill for two fifty. dollars What do you want to do? Oh, uh, damn it. We're going to have to pay it. We gotta pay it. You're driving with your kid in the back seat when your car slips on a slick stretch of road and slides into a parked car, causing a big dent in the bumper and a broken taillight. What do you want to do? Leave. <laughs> it's terrible because I would stay and I would at least leave my insurance information, but again, we have to play this like we are destitute. This is our last $314. We don't have the money, especially because, yeah, we don't have the money to pay it off, so we're just going to have to drive away. Your child has been identified as gifted and invited into the school's gifted program. The materials for the course cost 50 bucks. What do you want to do? Uh, let's see, decline the opportunity, apply for a scholarship, or pay the money. Let's apply for a scholarship. 
I mean, we're obviously well below the poverty line, and I don't really have the money for it, so let's gamble on a scholarship and see what happens. To get the scholarship, you have to meet with a counselor in person, which will cost you half a day of work and earn you a job strike. Oh no. Damn it. Well, again, you're, invest you're investing in your kid. Damn it. Your child's class is going on a field trip to the Natural History Museum. The trip costs $15. What do you want to do? Pay the money or don't pay. You know, I'm already fighting for your scholarship, and these tabs are a ticking time bomb, so we're just going to not pay it. You're going to have to stay home. Because your child didn't have money for the field trip, they stayed at school in the office while the other children in the class went to the museum. Ugh. Uh, money may be tight, but you have to eat. Remember, these groceries need to last you a few weeks. What do you want to buy? Let's see, apples, beans, ramen noodles, baby carrots, cereal, cheese. Well, in my house, this is more valuable than gold, so we're going to get some toilet paper. Three rolls of toilet paper. Uh, let's see, ramen noodles, $1? There we go. <laughs> that that was my diet. You know, for a solid year, I ate nothing but Taco Bell because their dollar menu back in the day, they had like half pound cheesy bean and rice burritos. And I would just get six. And that was like a pound and a half of food and I had it for lunch and dinner and I would just not have breakfast. And it was six bucks a day. You know, you, you stretch it out, you make it last. Almost 15% of American households had a hard time getting enough to eat at some point during 2012. I concur. You weren't paying attention and you broke something as you were putting it into a box. What do you do? Uh, let's see. Pay $25 to cover the broken item. Hide the evidence. Well, here's the thing. Again, working dock labor, if anything broke on the dock, they would take care of it. They wouldn't charge you for breaking the item, especially if it was an accident. But you're not paying attention. It might be your fault. Uh, you know what? Uh, <laughs> oh. This is going to reveal a little bit of my morality, but I mean, again, you got to do this like you are desperate. So I, I'd hide the evidence. Oh, my stomach growled. You've been experiencing some sharp pains in your chest lately, and your family has a history of heart problems. What do you want to do? Get it checked out or ignore it? Let's get it checked out. You never know. The doctor says you're fine, and since you opted in for health insurance, you only have to pay 15 bucks. Fantastic! Again, working dock labor, you want decent payday! Thank you, God! Your child comes home in tears and threatens to stop eating lunch because other kids make fun of all the free lunch kids. What do you want to do? Risk them going hungry or ask add lunch money to your monthly budget, $3 a day. Uh, you know, school is such a shitty place. You know, it's funny because they want school to be this nurturing environment, but all these kids can just be so horrible. And I'm not trying to talk shit about kids, I'm just saying... Ugh... Well, I mean, I am i don't want my kid to starve. I mean, they're already doing that at home, apparently, with ramen noodles and toilet paper. So, give the kid lunch money. $3 a day doesn't seem like much, but a month of lunches takes a big bite out of your cash. Alright, day 18. Your kid... You know what this is like? This is like 60 seconds, but like the poverty edition. Or instead of trying to hold out for rescue, I'm trying to hold out just to hold out. Your kid has a friend over when you hear the telltale sound of the ice cream truck. They both run over to the truck. What do you want to do? Buy some ice cream, five bucks, say no. Sorry. You don't need that to live. Your credit card kept you afloat while you were trying to hold on to your home. But even though the house is gone, the balance isn't. What do you want to do? Pay it off, pay the minimum, ignore it. Ugh. We gotta pay the minimum. You know, at least with the tabs, we can kind of ignore it and risk it, but... There's no risking it by not paying your debts. If you continue to pay only the minimum, the interest you have to pay means it will take you almost 17 years to pay off the card. Oh, horrible. Your supervisor discovered the broken item you hid but blames your coworker. What do you want to do? Well, fuck that guy. He can take the fall because I need this job. Confess that it was you. Keep quiet. Again, you need this to live. I have Apparently, I have a kid to take care of. Apparently, I sacrificed Fluffy. So... I need to keep this job, so I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Oh, this is horrible. Your boss fires your coworker as she collects her things. She confides to you that she has no idea how she'll take care of her two children. Oh my god. 
Your mom needs crucial medication but doesn't have the $100 she needs to buy it. What do you want to do? Give it to her. A family friend sends your child a card inside his $10. What do you want to do? Oh my gosh. It's for your it's for your kid. I mean, there's no choice, right? I mean, I'm not going to take that money. I'm going to give the, I'm going to give that to my kid. Your head is pounding and you're burning up, but you have to be at work in an hour. What do you want to do? Call in sick or go anyway. You need the job, but you got to go anyway. I've I've worked sick countless times. It's miserable, but you need that job. Like you, more than 40 million working Americans do not get paid sick leave. So like you, they go to work even when they probably shouldn't. Pity! Oh my god, this is... I feel terrible. <laughs> it's easier to look for extra ways to make money if you have access to the web, but you don't have the internet at home since you moved. So I can sign up for internet $60 a month. Yeah, I wish it was that cheap. Go without internet or go to the public library. We're going to go to the library and use our resources. For you and millions of other Americans, public library internet access is a critical resource. Over 44% of people living below the poverty line visit the public library to get online. Alright. One of your coworkers has gotten seriously ill. Because your company doesn't offer sick days, everyone is contributing $20 to help her out. What do you want to do? Pitch in or say you forgot your wallet. I'm broke. I'm sorry, you know, it's also like... I'm paying out the ass for health insurance. Oh man, this is horrible. This is like... I hate that every man for himself mentality, but again, you know, look at our look at our balance. A friend of a friend needs a place to stay. He offered you $200 to camp out in your living room. What do you want to do? Say yes, absolutely. Come on in. We'll hang on together. As Barbara Enrich said, uh, discovered in Nickel and Dimed, high costs often force people to share housing. You've been putting off doing laundry for weeks because you don't have a washer or dryer. What do you want to do? Go to the laundromat, wear dirty clothes, or ask a friend? You know, I'm actually doing a lot better. It seems like I'm making money. Uh, let's go to the laundromat. You know, it'll boost morale. Your bathroom sink has a small leak that just became a big leak. Your landlord won't return your calls and you can't put it off any longer. So, 150 bucks for a plumber or try to fix it yourself. We're going to have to try to fix it ourselves. Home improvement is cheaper when you do it yourself, but not free. Supplies still put you out 50 bucks. That's fine, as long as we have it taken care of. My god, I think we're going to do this. Not with our morality intact, but damn it, we're going to do it. Your child wants to join an after-school sports team, which requires a physical and a uniform. What do you want to do? Well, the physical should be cheap. Oh, 50 bucks or no. Uh, this is horrible, because you got to... You gotta maintain things, and you gotta make sure you have money, but you wanna nurture your kid, too. And it's easy for me to make this decision because I don't have any kids, I don't have any pets currently, but... To imagine being a parent and trying to make things happen for your kid, to give them a good childhood, to give them better than what you had, but you can't do that because you can't even give yourself what you need... Oh, man. You know, just yes. Yes. Your best friend from childhood is getting married, and they want you to be in the wedding. The only problem is it's in another state. Holy shit. No, I can't go. I can't go. And I feel horrible, too, because my, my best buddy Andrew got married in another state, and my car broke down. I couldn't afford to go, and him and his wife totally understood, but, you know, it's... What do you do? You made it through the month with $380, but rent's due tomorrow. Nice. So we did it. So give $10 to help someone living spent, share your results. Well guys, I'm definitely going to go ahead and donate and give my $10, and I hope you guys do as well. And this is all a big test for namesforchange.org to see if you can make some of these tough decisions, and I honestly feel kind of bad because I couldn't imagine making some of these decisions every single day, and the, the tragic thing is a lot of Americans do make these decisions every single day. You know, to give up pets, to give up opportunities for their children. This is just stuff. Until you don't have it. And what this organization does is they allow you to donate for certain items, and you can put your name on it, and you can really put your money where your mouth is, and 
associate your name with something really good to help other people. So two dollars to donate and name a light bulb. You can name a mug. You can name a hot breakfast. And it's funny because a lot of people don't really understand how much these little things help people. Because there were times where I was down to my last... I'm, I'm talking pennies. So... The whole purpose of this game was to not only test to see if I can make some tough financial decisions, but also to kind of promote this website as well. Not necessarily because they asked me to, because they haven't, but this was a really interesting experience to really go back in time per se and just see what it was like making a lot of these tough decisions. And I want you guys, I challenge you guys out there to take this challenge as well. I'll put links to this website in the description box below, but man, I just... It, it really puts things in perspective as well. Like, someone who could be down on their luck, you're not necessarily trying to be like, well, screw that guy because I don't want to help him out. But also, you just gotta do what you can to survive. Alright guys, well that was spent, and I challenge you guys to take the spent challenge. Go to playspent.org, I'll put links in the description box below. I'm gonna go ahead and send in my donation right now to the organization namesforchange.org. And please, take this challenge, see how you would fare. Don't copy my choices, do what you would feel would be best for each situation and see how you turn out. So if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you're new around here, please hit the subscribe button, I would definitely appreciate it. You can also interact with me beyond this video at Twitter, and please join my Steam group, links in the description box below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great night.